Okay, so what's better than five hedgehog hand grenades? Five Electabuzz Gavin guns. Hey there, Hunters. Welcome back to the Gunners Guild. Today in Power World, we have another very short video talking about another PAL team I decided to breed, which of course is going to be a bunch of Grizzbolts. Now, Grizzbolt has another player use skill that allows you to use the minigun while mounting it. This is one of those signature abilities that was shown off in most of the promotional material for Power World, so I was banking on it being extremely effective. Sadly, one Grizzbolt isn't going to be enough because not only are the cooldowns for Gatling Gun pretty long, but also you just don't get a ton of use out of the Gatling Gun. That's not to say it's bad, but let's just go over the pros and cons of the Gatling Guns real quick. Now we already had a hit on the long cooldown. That's just normal for all PAL skills sadly, but you can also only hold down the fire button for like 6 seconds before you run out of ammo. And this does not recharge passively if you don't use all of it, so if you use like half of it and then swap out or stop using it, it doesn't recharge. You have to completely deplete the minigun before it's going to start to recharge, which does kind of suck. The Gatling gun also doesn't seem to be capable of hitting weak spots. I mean, I tried and it does not get any bonus weak spot damage, which is another big letdown because if it could, then I feel the Gatling gun would be far, far more effective. Well, I mean, duh, it's more damage. And the last thing about the minigun is that this is dealing neutral damage, meaning that you're not going to get any bonus damage to anything for like elemental weaknesses. But also things that increase electrical damage like Lord of Lightning does not help the minigun aspect of Grizzbolt because it's not actually electric damage, it's just straight up neutral. So it doesn't really play well with using Grizzbolt for like, you know, a hyper offensive electric pal or whatever. So yeah, there are kind of a lot of downsides to the minigun, but despite all that, you can still make it pretty decently effective. I just wish I didn't need to use 5 Grizzbolts to get just more minigun usage. Uh, but anyway, as you can see through these clips and stuff, Grizzbolt still melts bosses pretty fast. I bred these Grizzbolts for Celestial Emperor for neutral damage, which does in fact increase minigun damage, and then I used Legend, Musclehead, and Ferocious for a 90% damage increase in total. I wish there was other skills, but it seems like pretty much every PAL build is going to be running Musclehead, Ferocious, Legend, and whatever elemental skill matches what you need. And with this setup, the minigun can still hit most like level 40 plus bosses for like 100 to 200 a shot, Outside bosses are like half that. But anyway, you can still get through about 11,000 damage and kill most bosses with, you know, little to no effort. Kind of like the Hedgehog spam, in order to make the most out of the Grizzbolt miniguns, you do need to space them out a bit with like rocket shots and reloads before switching to your next Grizzbolt, so you can give them time to recover their miniguns. But the recharge of this skill is slower than the grenades, so the uptime is never going to be quite 100%. We really do need a skill that reduces partner skill cooldowns. I think that would be one of the best things that they could add. Because, come on, who doesn't want to have, like, a Grizzvolt with, you know, half the cooldown cost? So you can just, you know, use it, do a couple attacks, and get on again and continue using the miniguns. I think that would be fun. Anyway, I ended up taking the Grizzbolts to each of the last three bosses, and it all performed pretty well. Honestly, I think Grizzbolt's active skill is probably the strongest, you know, partner skill to use. Which is kind of a letdown, because if this is the best that pals get, I don't think it's going to be beating the players with guns at any point. Again, it's not to say that this is a bad setup, it is definitely superior to the Hedgehog Grenade Spam, and I didn't regret breeding them, or spending the time on making those teams, so of course I'm gonna you know, be way more into Grizzbolt, but I do keep getting disappointed that player power seems to be just so much higher than any pal. So if you really want to min-max, not even for speedrun purposes, but just for like power leveling pals and such, then guns and ammo is just kind of the best bet, and you don't really even need to spend all the time breeding pals or getting pal souls and all that stuff, just because it's a lot of effort and players end up doing more damage. But anyway, all in all, Grizzbolts are still good. They plow through the entire game. If you got a couple of them, you could definitely cruise through all the boss encounters without any problem. So of course, I'm definitely going to have to recommend this setup as well as the Hedgehog team. If you want to try out something, you know, out of the box or different or, you know, besides just players shooting a rocket launcher. But this is far, far from anything optimal. You can get way crazier with player stuff. But anyway, that's going to be all for me. Thank you all for watching. I think I got like one more vid coming out tomorrow over the player setup that I've been trying to compare with pals. Uh, so look forward to that one, I guess. But yeah, peace, thanks, and good luck out there, hunters.